It's funny saying like you've got to have been an alpha somewhere in your life. Like researching this chat with you, I just noticed how many – like there were so many interviews with you or stories about you ahead of your debut where, you know, the journal will do a recap of your cricketing life to date, lots of pictures of you as a kid and it whether it's on TV. Or, it? Well, yeah, and I'm not going to go into Hampton and Brighton. I get it. You're a fucking worldie. But like um, – <laughs> <but like, laughs> Kid scored well, runs, you know. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> he probably scored yeah. runs. Um, kid, kid does good, yeah. 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 <laughs> Ponning nets, yeah, yeah. hit him. Um, <laughs> yeah. But like, there's lots of quotes about your maturity, you know, and your ability to mix it with older kids. Like, because you're often in, you know, you're often in teams at a very young age. You're playing like senior cricket when you're like ten or eleven, scoring fifties. Like, so are you just used to going into every single team as the prodigy? You know, and so when you go into the Aussie team, are you sort of just sitting there going, listen, I'm just going to bide my time here because every team I go into, I'm just the guy who will make it? Uh, that's, that's a really tough one to answer. I feel like I, I can only answer this and sound like an asshole. But, um, <laughs> yeah, it was one of the – yeah, I think growing up, you sort mm. of get used to it. Yeah, I think the maturity thing is just a front more than anything. You just – Say one thing, but my mates would suggest otherwise. So it goes back to that. What would your mates say? That everything. Well, not would. What would they say? They do say that everything they see in the media is the complete opposite <laughs> to who I actually am. So <laughs> I guess <laughs> I guess I'm living my best life. But it's. I mean, your mates would be right in it. It'd be a backhanded compliment because, like, when we, you know, we trawl through your Instagram and every Instagram before every interview, and the thing that stands out to me is like when you look at a lot of other cricketers, uh, it's very curated is like pictures with particular people. It's often, you know, the um, icons of the sporting world trying to develop a kind of brand. You look at your one, everyone looks quite good, don't get me wrong, but like it's your mates, you know, it's your yeah. mates, it's your family and like you've got comments underneath. It's all It all s seems very authentic and real. So it's obviously important to you to, you know, not be someone who just like eats cricket balls and lives and breathes cricket. Like you literally have a life outside the game, right? Yeah, I think it's, uh, yeah, you can get immersed in it a bit. So it's... Mm important that you keep a lot of people say genuinely that like people change when they move up the levels happens at well, it happens everywhere it happens at grade level you go mm. i oh, still yeah. remember i went up to twos yeah yeah, yeah i i remember <laughs> alistair mccook so he'll he won't i hope he won't mind me saying this but i remember so he had this aura about him when i first went down to melbourne as a 14 year old and i was like this bloke has got to average 45 in the first like <laughs> He's just got this presence. Yeah. Like he had the rig, he had everything. <laughs> like he sort of strutted around training. Yeah. I was shocked to find out he was the fourth 11 captain. <laughs> <laughs> batted six and occasionally bowled. <laughs> and I genuinely couldn't believe it. But I was yeah. like, oh, well, at least he's living the best version of himself. He yeah. wants to be, yeah, have mm. this aura. And he got me as a 14 year old. And I mm. thought, yeah, that's someone I want to latch on to. And then yeah. after I checked his stats, not so much. But um <laughs> Yeah, it's an interesting one. I think, yeah, a lot of people do maybe go down that sort of curated line, but I sort of, yeah, it's not really me, I wouldn't think. Because it's interesting because Pez has obviously gone through Instagram and I did the same thing and, and it, you rightly say, Pez, that, you know, there's wonderful images there of your two dogs, Hugo and Harley, is that yeah, right? Hugo, Hugo and Harley, you know, friends and stuff. But your most recent photo is obviously you, you've obviously Googled yourself on your debut because you've got a photo <laughs> of yourself and it's just got the, it's got the Getty Images watermark on it. So, yeah. so <laughs> talk us through that process. Uh, talk us through about Googling yourself. Oh, well, yeah, it's got 60, so I thought... <laughs> 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 Mainly positive. Um <laughs> <laughs> Job done. Yeah. So I thought, yeah, I pretty much made it. I actually, so I'm like a big, I I'll, I'll like delete. So I'm actually, I'm basically off Twitter. Like I'll barely ever read that. That's Sounds intelligent. Yes. Um. So, but I needed to get my fix of great quick cricketer stuff. So I have to keep Instagram. Mm. And I was shocked to find out that my followers had doubled on day one of my debut. So I was like, oh, well, I've got to make the most of this. So <laughs> I just went, thought I'd put a photo up and get a few more likes than yeah. I was used to. So I was yeah. sort of, that's, that's, Sort of big dick energies as well if you yeah. get a lot of likes and stuff. Yeah, just a quick one on um, – because we didn't want to, you know, focus on your head for this interview because I feel like you've you've said a lot. You've given people a lot, you know, around what's happened with what's happening with your head and what you've gone through. Um, and if people want to hear what you think or what others think, there's so much out there, you know, so you don't need another interview on that. All I want to know is like – I just – just my observation that like, fuck – 26 million people have views on your head, you know? At like, what does that feel like just with so many people thinking that they can um, 
I know everyone's allowed to express what they want to express, but like just carrying that idea that so many people have views on a, 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 quite a highly complex thing. Yeah, there's a lot of experts out there. Yeah. Uh, well, I would say I did well in the test because because I've grown this beautiful mullet, the attention's <laughs> gone from what's inside my head to outside now. Genius. So, yeah. yeah, that's sort of been a method behind that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's an interesting one. I don't know. Yeah. It's a, it is bizarre because yeah. everyone seems to have a view and like, oh, he can never play again. He's yeah. been hit this amount of times. It's like, yeah. oh, you're a brain surgeon, are you, mate? Like, yeah. Good work. Like, <laughs> um, good work. Mm. Yeah. That's just Twitter. <laughs> yeah. 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 Legit, that's why I got rid of it. But yeah. um, I think people, yeah, they're, I would say they're entitled to their opinions, but I actually don't agree with that because yeah. I'm like, mm. I don't sit there or not me and no one. This is the thing about professional sport. I can yeah. people think because they pay money to go and watch yeah. or they watch on the TV, they have the right to just abuse you. Yeah. But I don't pay $5 to go abuse you for not doing mm. your job properly or something like that. Yeah. Mm. And yeah, it's an interesting one because I was, I was saying to you blokes before, I actually had the privilege of watching the first two tests with my mates and like listening to how judgmental they are about people like, and I just sit there and I go like, I actually spray them when it's not about me at all. Yeah. Just saying like, oh, if it's that easy facing blokes at 140 kilometers an hour swinging it both ways, then yeah. go on. It's all <laughs> yeah, yours. Yeah, like yeah, have yeah, a crack. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, it's very easy to, yeah, to judge, but no one yeah. really knows what's going on. I don't think. And as long as you, this is getting a bit serious for my liking. But okay. Yeah, as yeah. long as, um, <laughs> As long as people, like, as long as you, the people around you, I guess, that you care about mm. understand and know what's going on, then I think that's all that matters. It's a lot easier said than done. But mm. That's yeah. probably the main thing. And, like, other outside noise is pretty much irrelevant. Mm. That's very wise for a man beyond his years. I, I had a, I had a, um, I had a message from a guy. I think the ball was still in the air when, when Warner nicked off at the Gabba. I hadn't ever been caught yet. Blake was on the WhatsApp. Pff, Warner's nicked off again. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, how many hundreds does this guy need? <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah. I was going to ask you, I mean, you sort of answered the question there, but Pete, we spoke to Peter Hanscom last week who said that he doesn't read any press anymore and, and you just sort of spoke about social media. I just wonder how you deal with that, you know, in your future inevitable successes because, like, basically anytime we do a good podcast, I'm online look, reading the reviews. Don't worry about that. <laughs> any, any YouTube comment, you know? Like, it's probably, it might be easier to wipe out the negative criticism because you're just like, if, if I've done something, you know, if I've performed that well, don't even want to look at it. But if you score a test 100, you might want to have a little look online, maybe, and just, just <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a little, a yeah. Gander. yeah well, that's a tough bit. I reckon you got to pick one or the other. You've yeah. got to go, I'm tough enough to accept both. I'm not going to take either. Yeah. Mm. But it's sort of like, yeah. at the end of the day, the other thing is, which, so why do you need to read random people's comments? Because you get 300 text messages from people that actually yeah. do. So it's yeah. like, you get enough sort of ego boost out of that that yeah. you don't need yeah. more Twitter and that to go. Oh, your front, like, yeah, you got some runs, but your front foot was a bit too far across. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was actually my next question. Yeah. 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 